Hi everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. Today I've got a unique tutorial to share with you. I usually start off all of my tutorials in Adobe Illustrator, but today we're going to be solely in Cricut Design Space. So my apologies to any of my Silhouette users, because as far as I know, these tips are only applicable to Cricut Design Space. So recently I created a fun chocolate frog box template, like from Harry Potter. I was just planning on cutting and scoring it by hand, but then I decided to see if I could utilize my Cricut for it. Um, it ended up taking a lot of extra steps, but I managed to do it, and now I want to show you guys how. So first things first, I'm in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to upload my file. And I've obviously already uploaded it before. Uh, usually you just click on Upload an Image and then find it on your computer. Since I already have it, I'm just going to select it and click Insert Images. Alright, so I've got a couple of pieces right here and it's kind of a mess, but I'm going to show you how to turn it into not a mess. So here we go. First things first is we need to ungroup the layers. So we're going to start with this section right here. This is the top of the box and I'm going to click ungroup with it selected. Select it again. Now it's separate from this piece. Um, but I'm going to ungroup it one more time. All right, there we go. So now I still have it in a few different layers. I have all these lines that don't have any color to them. These are going to be my score marks. These are where I want my scoring tool um, to create nice sharp creases on my box. So in order to do that, I just need to click over here and change them from cutting to scoring. <laughs> All right. All of those have now successfully been changed to scoring marks. I'm going to close that. Now I have all my colored layers. I'm going to have, so I have my beige top layer my blue layer and my other beige layer. I'm going to hold shift as I select all three of those and then I'm going to hit flatten. So right now see they're all cut layers but when I hit flatten it automatically turns it into a print layer and I can't even change it now. It has to be a print layer. I have no choice. But that's okay. That's what I want. And then this layer right here um, that I have marked in gray is going to be my cut layer. So I want to just drag my uh, flattened print layer underneath um, a little too far. I want it right in between my cut layer and my score marks. There we go. And now I'm going to select these three. And this is important. Um, I'm going to um, hit attach. Okay, it doesn't really seem like it did much. But that is what's going to help it know to print it all together. If I didn't do that part, it would put all of it onto different cutting mats, which is not what I want. Okay, so if you didn't catch all that, that's okay. We have a couple more things to work through for this template. So let's do the insert card next. This part is a little less complicated because um, there's no score marks on this one. It's just cutting and printing but it'll be good to go through it. So first we're going to ungroup it. Now I'm going to select all the layers that I want printed, which are these four layers, holding shift, and then I'm going to do flatten. And then I have my cut layer, my print layer, that's exactly what I want. Hold shift again, select both of them, and hit attach. Now that one's done. I'm gonna hide it. Last one. Once again, I'm going to ungroup it. And then this is going to be a little bit of a pain. I wish there was a way to just shift select and change everything to score marks that I want to and like basically two keystrokes, but as far as I know, you have to do it one at a time. So if any of you listening work for Cricut, this would be a great <laughs> tool to use, <laughs> to have, to be able to select every, a whole bunch of lines and change them to score marks. Maybe there is a way, if you do know a way, I'm all ears. 
Anyway, there we go. So I got them all changed to score marks. Now I'm going to select all my color layers again, flatten them. I'm going to drag this layer underneath my score layer, select my three layers that I want to be grouped together, and hit attach. There you go. So now all of my pieces of my box are ready to be printed. So it used to be in Cricut Design Space that you couldn't design anything for print and cut that was wider than just over five inches. Luckily, they've changed that. Yay! And you can actually size this up to be about eight inches wide is what I found. Um, so my biggest piece can be about eight inches wide. Um, anyway, but you can play around with the sizing. You can't really go bigger than that because the printer still has to be able to print the registration marks for the Cricut to read, which makes sense. But I'm really glad that we can print wider than five inches now. That's awesome. So with those all set up, you're ready to make it. As you can see, we've got our black registration marks or whatever they're called around the image. And that's what the uh, machine is going to read after it prints, so those are definitely necessary. This particular design is going to be printed on three separate pieces of paper. Um, if I had made it a little smaller, these two may have been able to print on the same sheet. But it's up to you how you want to do it and how big you want your boxes to be. Anyway, feel free to try it out and go through the process for yourself. It's actually pretty fun to see the finished results. I've made the, a couple of these boxes now and they turn out super cute. Um, thanks for watching this video. You can find this chocolate frog box template on my blog and go for it. Give it a try. As always, thank you for watching.